If you're sick of getting low FPS in CSGO and having to sacrifice visuals to make your game run better, in today's video I'm going to talk about how to get the best of both worlds, make your game look good, maintain an advantage against other players by being able to see through smoke from molotovs, and make the enemy stand out and be as bright as possible, while at the same time making your game run at its peak performance. So as always, if you guys do enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And just before we get into it, check out how to get a free $5 trading with the sponsor, Skins Monkey. Hi you, yes you, would you like to get $5 for free for your first trade? Just use skinsmonkey.com and get your extra skins. See description below to enjoy the special promotion and receive 5% cashback for trading your CSGO skins. Okay, so first of all, one of the most annoying things in CS that you might have not even noticed until I pointed out is that the smoke that appears above Molotovs after they're thrown is incredibly dark, and the farther you are away from it, the more difficult it could be to see an enemy that's close behind it. You might either end up not seeing them at all, or taking an extra half a second to notice because they blend in really well to it. Now, this first clip I show is on all low or very low graphic settings, and those are settings that, despite increasing your FPS, will limit your vision behind fire. If you want to sacrifice some FPS, and I'll cover exactly how much in a sec, but at the same time see through fire easier, you'll have to turn effect detail and shader detail on high and very high. It's an incredibly noticeable difference and can definitely save you if you ever find yourself searching for someone behind the Molotov smoke. But it does come at a cost. As someone with an i9, a 9900K, a GTX 1063GB, 16GB RAM, so not really a bad PC, definitely shouldn't struggle in a game as old as CS, I still play on all low because this makes my game feel choppy. Now, when it comes to how it actually affects your frame rate, on high effect and very high shader detail, using the FPS benchmark map, I averaged 300 FPS. On native res, 1920 by 1080 but when I switch these settings to low, I average 304, so I mean there's really not much of a difference FPS wise for me, but when I'm in game, I feel like I get more frame drops when I have them on high. I guess the FPS benchmark map just felt like being nice to me and telling me that to get more FPS. Either way, I recommend testing it out for yourselves, every PC is different, honestly to me it might just be placebo. You get so many frame drops in this game no matter what your settings are and there's so little ways to avoid it that this is definitely something worth trying out and it's going to help you be able to see through mollies easier and make those enemy player models brighter. But the reason that I covered that I use 1920 by 1080 for that which is not my normal resolution that I play on is because resolution absolutely affects how much frames you get in CS by an extreme amount. Normally I'll play on 1280 by 960 it's the resolution that Simple plays on, Monesi plays on it, Bit plays on it, so I mean hey it must be decent and not only that I average 370 FPS on 1280 by 960, 70 FPS gained from playing on native. Once you go to stretch you never go back and it will literally be the best decision of your life if you haven't done it or haven't stuck with it. Definitely try it out if you haven't yet, it is life changing and although it might not make your game look good, there is a reason why the very vast majority of pros play on it and lowering your res can help you with other settings that can make it easier to see player models so you kinda gotta trade off some things to make it easier to see people and get some higher frame rate. But with that being said, let's continue with the next comment controversial CSGO setting which is boosting player contrast. This is another setting that is going to allow you to see enemies easier, gives them a much brighter look especially when they're head glitching or just have an annoying agent skin, this will help you out. Now I've played with this on since it was released and haven't noticed any real issues with it FPS wise but if you go online back when this update got released, You'll notice that there's so many people saying they were getting like 50% frame drops with it and some very angry people overall when this update first got released on reddit especially, there is just not some happy campers to say the least. Now whether or not Bell fixed it so it doesn't cause frame drops anymore I don't know, I don't know if it's anywhere in the patch notes I didn't really look but I assume they did something because a lot of people were complaining about it and now I don't get FPS drops and overall to me it just seems like a fine setting to leave on but 
If you're running a bottom of the barrel PC and just need every last frame you could get, turning it off could give you an FPS boost. After testing it on and off on the FPS benchmark map, I barely noticed a few frame difference, so it doesn't really change anything for me, which means I'm going to leave it on. Once again, if you're using a lower end PC, you might want to experiment with that. Beyond that though, there really isn't too much to cover to make your game look great and get the most FPS out of it. These are what all my settings look like if you guys want to copy it. Personally, I'm more of an FPS guy. I'm going to leave everything on low. And even though it kind of hurts me a little bit not being able to see through mollies, I just enjoy every last bit of FPS I could get. And you could try putting on effect and shader details on high to see through mollies easier. But other than that, everything else is pretty straightforward. Multi-core rendering on and everything else is pretty much either bilinear, low or disabled. So overall, besides all that, I hope this video has helped you guys understand CSGO's strange settings a bit more and to get all that FPS out of your potato PC that you can't. And if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And of course, check out Skins Monkey for that free $5 bonus. But for now, I'll see you guys next one. Peace.